So today they uh, revealed the uh, release date for Star Wars Ahsoka, the next uh, live action Disney Plus Star Wars series, which it will release, or the first episode will release on August 23rd, 2023, and will uh, run, I think, eight episodes. So we'll go from August 23rd to October 11th, 2023, releasing every Wednesday. But uh, like I said, it's the next uh, live action Disney Plus series. It is technically a spinoff of The Mandalorian as it follows... um the live-action version of Ahsoka Tano, played by uh, Rosario Dawson, but it's also kind of a uh, sequel, follow-up, I guess, spin-off of the animated series Star Wars Rebels, but, you know, instead of it being animated, it is live-action. But uh, the uh, release date was revealed alongside a new uh, TV spot, which doesn't reveal too much. Uh, the biggest footage is of uh, Sabine with Ezra's lightsaber fighting uh, Shin, the uh, one Force user of the orange-reddish lightsaber we saw in the... Uh, teaser trailer and whatnot but uh, I think that footage was uh, shown in the uh, extended celebration trailer but wasn't released to the public but now we have it in a more you know higher quality not cell phone camera footage uh, look but uh, there are some quick action shots of Ahsoka what are new one of them I found interesting was her like running away from this um, place I don't know what exactly it is but it's all on fire and whatnot and there's stuff seemingly shooting down at Ahsoka on the you know, land and whatnot, but, um, there might have been some other, like, action shots, but there wasn't any new dialogue, and most of the scenes were, uh, from the, uh, teaser trailer already released, but, uh, it's nice to, uh, finally have a, uh, release date for, you know, a full-fledged release date. We knew it was August, but now it's nice to know it's the 23rd, but, um, a few days before all this, uh, there was a, um, cover story from, uh, Empire Magazine, which, uh, revealed some stuff, Mainly, there's some new images. Uh, there's three uh, high-quality images uh, released online. Uh, one of Ahsoka in a ship with, like, the galaxy map in the background. I'm assuming it's probably her T6 shuttle. It could be another one, but um, also we kind of see, like, a little thing. And I don't know exactly what to call it. Like, a little thing near the galaxy map where it kind of shows, like, a still of a uh, ship thingy. And it looks like the T6 shuttle. I don't know how to describe it. The image will be up on the screen so you can like, see that. There was uh, also an image of uh, Ahsoka with uh, Sabine, which she has uh, short hair at this moment and uh, does have Ezra's lightsaber holstered to her belt. And then uh, finally one of uh, that Inquisitor we saw in the uh, teaser, which uh, it looks like they're in a uh, force area, which we kind of saw this in the uh, trailers where when uh, Ahsoka says, uh, you know, the hair to the Empire. Like she's in like a foresty area where it looks a lot like this image. Obviously, I have no clue who this Inquisitor is. Maybe it's a pre-existing character or it's just like some new Inquisitor what Ahsoka just has to uh, face. I'm not sure. But um, in the actual magazine, I think there's some more images released and whatnot. I don't know I if I can find any high-quality versions of them. I'll put them up on the screen. If, I don't know. There wasn't really anything uh, super duper crazy in there. Uh, I didn't, you know, read anything from uh, the magazine. I don't even have it. I won't. But, uh, you know, from what I saw people talking about, uh, one big reveal was that the uh, character uh, Balin Skull, who's played by the uh, late actor uh, Ray Stevenson, which in the trailers we see that he's a, a Force user with like an orangish, reddish lightsaber. But uh, in the magazine, I guess they revealed that his character is a... Uh, Jedi who uh, survived Order 66, but is now working as a mercenary, I would assume, for Thrawn. So yeah, but uh, definitely interested in all these uh, villain characters will be in this series. There's obviously Balin, Shin, uh, Thrawn, Morgan Elsbeth, the Inquisitor. Definitely a lot of uh, villain characters, so definitely uh, excited to see where, where they all go and whatnot. Most of them are, uh, you know, Balin and Shin are new characters. Morgan Elsbeth is you know, only appeared in that one episode in The Mandalorian, so we don't really know much about them. Obviously, there is a lot known about Thrawn, but definitely right now and where he's going to be going in these series and whatnot. So, yeah, and obviously I'm excited to see where Ahsoka and Sabine and all the other Rebels characters go and whatnot. But uh, when the uh, series starts, I'll be doing full reviews of each episode um, as they come out. I assume another trailer will probably release sometime next month, so I'll definitely talk about that then. But uh, in the meantime, you should check out my uh, reviews on The Mandalorian, Rebels, and everything else to do. But I've been sorry, you know, I'll catch you guys in the uh, next one. 
something dark. I sense it. This is a new beginning.